Yoel Joel 3. For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again at the captivity of Yahudah and Yerushalayim, I will also gather at all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahusaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Yashadael, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Sor and Sidon, and all the coast of Pelesheth? Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense upon your own head. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things, the children also of Yahudah and the children of Yerushalayim have ye sold unto the Yavanim, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell at your sons and at your daughters into the hand of the children of Yahudah, and they shall sell them to the Shavaim, to a people far off. For Yahuwah has spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the other nations. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause your mighty ones to come down, O Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahushaphat, for there will I sit to judge at all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of Yahuwah is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Yahuwah also shall roar out of Sion, and utter his voice from Yerushalayim, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But Yahuwah will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Yashere'el. So shall ye know that I am Yahuwah, Elohechem, dwelling in Sion, my holy mountain. Then shall Yerushalayim be holy, and there shall no strangers pass through her any more. And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Yahudah shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth out of the house of Yahuwah, and shall water at the valley of Shittim. Mitzrayim shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Yahudah because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Yahudah shall dwell forever, and Yerushalayim, from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood 
that I have not cleansed. For Yahweh dwells in Sion.